Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by sharing this channel with your social work colleagues and friends, and by subscribing to the channel. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come together for relevant news, information, and inspiration. All right, folks, I've got a, a special treat. This is a follow-up to a video that I made uh, earlier about the Department of Veterans Affairs. Today, I will be specifically speaking about one position in particular, and that's called HUD-VASH. Um, but before we get there, just a standard disclaimer that uh, I am not being compensated by the Department of Veterans Affairs for this video and the opinions stated in this video are mine alone. All right, so um, I gave you guys some background information about HUD-VASH in um, one of my previous videos on the Department of Veterans Affairs, but I wanted to I wanted to do a, a little bit of a deeper dive in this video. Um, and one of the reasons why I want to do that is because I actually have experience working in the HUD-VASH program. Um, so I wanted to share that experience as well as review some of the um, KSAs from USA Jobs um, about, about different HUD-VASH positions. Um, so I did a quick search on USA Jobs this morning um, at the time of this video is being made. This is December the 3rd. There were 51 HUD-VASH positions listed on USA Jobs as of December 3rd. So again, if you are a new social worker, you just got your license, uh, or even if you just graduated, you just got your MSW, uh, and, you, and you're looking to get into the VA, I'm telling you guys, HUD-VASH is one of the most popular um, posted jobs. The VA is always needing HUD-VASH social workers in particular, as well as nurses, psychologists, um, even psychiatrists. But um, social workers are probably uh, the largest discipline within HUD-VASH um, and that's because we still have a large homeless veteran population unfortunately so um, but again the way I look at it I'm gonna put it in the positive reframe because that's what we do as social workers um, as social workers we have so much that we can provide to our clients in in the HUD-VASH program so let's let's get into the first type of positions that I that I want to go over are GS nine to eleven positions um, within the federal system. You have a GS uh, from GS one all the way to GS fifteen. Uh, when you when you graduate with your MSW, that makes you eligible for GS nine positions. Okay, so I'm going to give you I'm going to give you some um, some pointers. Um, so let's get to it. So I pulled off one job posting from USA Jobs. This is for a HUD-VASH position. Doesn't really matter where, but this one is for Columbia, South Carolina. So if we have any social workers in Columbia, South Carolina, there is a current position which has been posted. Uh, it it started the posting started on October 19th and it closes December 31st of this year. So uh, let me read you a little bit um, uh, from this USA Job announcement. The clinical social worker is a critical position in the DOM, VA Medical Center Housing and Urban Development Supported Housing Program and is under the supervision of the supervisory social worker for the HUD-VASH program. The HUD-VASH program is a collaborative effort supported through HUD Section 8 rental assistance vouchers and the VA's provision of intensive case management services. The primary goal of HUD-VASH is to move veterans and their families out of chronic homelessness. The primary component of the program is VA case management services designed to improve veterans' health and mental health enhancing their ability to remain stable, housed, and community integrated. 
the social worker slash case manager will coordinate and provide evaluation and other services supporting the functional abilities of veterans who are struggling with issues of homelessness. The social worker will work directly with veterans within the various community sites and will provide case management services and partner with community agencies to link access to community-wide housing services for veterans. The case manager will be providing services such as psychosocial assessments, treatment planning, individual group and family therapy, discharge planning and follow-up, crisis intervention, case management assistance, resource development, and coordination related to these services as clinically indicated. The social worker will provide case management and referral assistance to the veterans and work closely with the primary care and mental health clinicians and the interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary teams that assist veterans in meeting their goals and objectives within psychosocial rehabilitation framework that allows successful reintegration into community living. The incumbent will assist the supervisory program specialists for the HCHV slash CWT slash HUDVASH and supervisory social worker in monitoring the provision of quality clinical services and with ensuring the coordination of a continuum of recovery oriented services for the homeless veterans in the mental health care service line. And the promotion potential for this position is a GS 11. So you can come in as a GS 9 and uh, if you are, if you interview and sele get selected for this position, um, after a year of, of satisfactory performance, you can uh, be promoted to a GS-11. So let us look at uh, what's actually required for the GS-9 uh, position. So experience, education, and licensure, none beyond the basic requirements. Demonstrated KSAs, which is knowledge, skills, and abilities. So in addition to the experience above, the candidate must demonstrate all of the following KSAs. Number one, ability to work with veterans and family members from various socioeconomic, cultural, ethnic, educational, and other diversified backgrounds utilizing counseling skills. Number two, ability to assess the psychosocial functioning and needs of veterans and their family members, and to formulate and implement a treatment plan identifying the veteran's problems, strengths, weaknesses, coping skills, and assistance needed. Number three, ability to implement treatment modalities in working with individuals, families, and groups to achieve treatment goals. This requires, this requires judgment and skill in utilizing supportive, problem-solving, or crisis intervention techniques. Number four, ability to establish and maintain effective working relationships and communicate with clients, staff, and representatives of community agencies. Number five, fundamental knowledge of medical and mental health diagnoses, disabilities, and treatment procedures. This includes acute, chronic, and traumatic illnesses, injuries, common medications and their effects, side effects, and medical terminology. Um, so that, those are the KSAs for GS9 level. Uh, if, if you do have the requisite experience, you could come in as a GS11. Uh, so let me read you what that experience in licensure entails. So appointment to the GS11 grade level requires completion of a minimum of one year of post MSW experience equivalent to the GS9 grade level in the field of healthcare or other social work related settings whether they're VA or non-VA, and licensure or certification in a state at the independent practice level. Education. In addition to meeting basic requirements, a doctoral degree in social work from a school of social work may be substituted for the required one year of professional social work experience in a clinical setting. Um, and the KSAs are pretty much the same as they are for the GS9. So I'm not going to read those again. Um, so this is for the GS9, GS11. I also want to let you guys know that there are HUDVASH social work positions at the GS12 level. And actually, um, I was actually a GS12 
uh, social work HUD VASH case manager uh, like 10 years ago. So let me go over that one. And actually, if you are in the Los Angeles area, there are currently uh, seven vacancies looking for a senior social worker HUD VASH project based voucher. Um, the deadline for uh, these seven vacancies is December 7th, so go on USA Jobs. Uh, if you're interested, if you are a social worker in the Los Angeles area, uh, we do have vacancies here. Okay, so let me read you guys briefly what they're looking for for these positions. So the Greater Los Angeles VA Healthcare Network is recruiting for seven senior social work positions at West... West LA or Greater Los Angeles within the Housing and Urban Development VA supported housing and project-based vouchers program. The goal of the senior social worker is to provide appropriate treatment, case management, and assisting veterans and families in maintaining approved stable housing in the hud -Bash program. Responsibilities. The major duties and responsibilities include, but are not limited to, provides case management services to a special patient population that demonstrates highly complex psychosocial health or mental health problems, coordinates and provides information and referrals to VA programs in their provision of case management services, tracks census of veterans within the program and ensure that veteran data is captured in homes, provides consultation services to other VA staff regarding the psychosocial needs of homeless veterans and the impact of psychosocial problems on health care and adherence to treatment plans, establishes and maintains effective therapeutic relationships with veterans and their families when appropriate. Um, with all of these jobs, you will need to be a U.S. citizen. That's, that's a basic requirement. Um, you must, you may be required to undergo a, a random drug test. Uh, if you're a male, you have to do the selective service registration. I mean, that, that's just another basic. Um, and many of these positions, if you're brand new to the VA, you will go through a probation period. It's usually one year, maybe two years. And you will have to go through a background investigation if you've never worked for the federal government. So. And even if you have, because um, I've, I've transferred from, you know, job to job within the VA, and you still go through a background check, because they just want to make sure that you haven't committed any felonies or, you know, um, yeah, you haven't committed any felonies. So, um, let me go over the requirements at the G, for the GS-12. So, uh, licensure, senior social workers must be licensed or certified by a state at the advanced practice level okay so GS 11 you have to be licensed at the independent practice level um, for many states that would be the LMSW license master social work but to get a GS 12 position you must be licensed at the advanced practice level and for most states that's going to be the LCSW or equivalent um, so the advanced practice level which includes advanced generalist or clinical examination unless they're grandfathered by the state in which they're licensed to practice at the advanced practice level except for a license issued in California which administers its own clinical examination actually that's no longer the case California uh, is is rejoined the rest of the states and utilizes the ASWB's clinical examination um, we do we like all the other states, we do have our own law and ethics exam, but that's true for all the other states as well. Um, education requirements, you're going to have to have a master's degree in social work from a school of social work that's fully accredited by the Council on Social Work Education. Again, I did mention this in, in my video, in one of my videos where I talked about why is the CSWE important. So the CSWE is important because if you go to a school that's not accredited fully accredited by CSWE, you will not be qualified for any federal job, period, okay? So if you're, if you're, if you're a undergraduate and you're looking for a master's degree program, make sure it's fully accredited by CSWE guys, okay? Um, let's see what else. Uh, let's go over the experience and that's required for GS-12 positions. So in addition to the basic requirements, applicants must have at least two years 
of experience post advanced practice clinical licensure and should be in a specialized area of social work practice of which one year must be equivalent to the GS 11 grade level. Senior social workers have experience that demonstrates possession of advanced practice skills and judgment. Senior social workers are experts in their specialized area of practice. Senior social workers may have certification or other postmasters training from a nationally recognized professional organization or university that includes a defined curriculum or course of study and internship or equivalent supervised professional experience in a specialty. Um, so let me read you guys the, uh, the KSAs for this GS-12 position these GS-12 positions, because there's seven of them here in Greater Los Angeles. Uh, number one, skill in a range of specialized interventions and treatment modalities used in specialty treatment programs or with special patient populations. This includes individual, group, and or family counseling or psychotherapy and advanced level psychosocial and or case management. Number two, ability to incorporate complex multiple causation in differential diagnosis and treatment within approved clinical privileges or scope of practice. Number three, knowledge in developing and implementing methods for measuring effectiveness of social work practice and services in the specialty area, utilizing outcome evaluations to improve treatment services and to design system changes. Number four, ability to provide specialized consultation to colleagues and students on the psychosocial treatment of patients in the service delivery area, as well as role modeling effective social work practice skills. Number five, ability to expand clinical knowledge in the social work profession and to write policies, procedures, and or practice guidelines pertaining to the service delivery area. Um, so as a senior, now I'm going to just share share my own experience. So I did work for three years as a senior social worker assigned to um, the HUD-VASH program at the Long Beach VA. I did that from 2010 to 2013. Great experience, guys. Um, I think at one point I had a caseload of about 50 veterans um, that I was responsible for checking in on, doing home visits, updating their treatment plans. Um, assisting them in going from the homeless, from being homeless to getting their their HUD VASH Section 8 voucher and then helping them work with the Housing Authority of Long Beach, uh, assisting some of them with the apartment searches and and then helping them transition from um, you know searching for apartments to actually finding apartments and, and going through all of the documentation um, required for them to be uh, accepted by the, the lease management, which, is, which are outside of the VA, outside of Section 8 or Housing Authority. Um, HUD-VASH can be a, a, com a complex program because you're providing, you're providing clinical services as a social worker. So you're assessing uh, you're providing treatment for mental health conditions. Um, you're 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 assisting your clients um, with appointments for their medical for their medical health, their physical health uh, appointments within the VA. Sometimes appointments outside of the VA, and you're also you're also the liaison between the VA and the housing authority. Um, every year, the veterans in the HUD-VASH program have to go through um, an apartment inspection process um, and you know which is done by the housing authority that's not done by the VA um, so there's a lot of coordination between uh, you know between the veteran between the housing authority um, between the between clinics within the VA as well as community resources great program um, you do have to be you do have to be very independent minded. Um, you can you have to you have to have kind of an adventurous spirit, I believe. If you're the type of person who who just wants to spend all of their time in the office um, and having the veterans come to you, then HUDVASH is not the program for you. But 
if you enjoy going out into the community, doing home visits, and 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 it's it's not all roses. Um, I you know I have some stories that I could share about um, about some of most of the veterans that I work with. You know when they when they transition from homeless to their own apartments they did fine um i think they appreciated the support that i could provide them the case management support the psychotherapy support that i was providing them but then there were other veterans who were out there for 20 30 years chronically homeless and some of them were not able to leave the the mindset that allowed them to survive in the streets they were not able to leave that behind when they got their apartments so unfortunately um, some veterans, uh, you know, would still be struggling with substance use disorders or not wanting to get treatment for their mental health or even for their physical health. Um, but again, that's where as social workers, you know, we get to meet people where they're at and, and we, we do our best to, um, you know, guide them in the right direction. Um, we do follow the recovery model in the VA which means that we are supporting people to be as self-directed as possible. We're supporting people to define their own life goals, you know, and, you know, sometimes people will enter the hud -Bash program and then they'll realize that they don't want to, they don't want to follow all of the rules that the VA is laying out or that the housing authority or that HUD is laying out. And they would rather just be be homeless because there's no responsibilities required of them other than surviving, other than getting food. Um, but the vast majority of veterans do appreciate um, the HUD-VASH program, do appreciate the case management that social workers and other VA staff provide, do appreciate the voucher. Uh, if you're a civilian, you may wait 10, 15, 20 years for a Section 8 housing voucher. If you're a veteran who's been chronically homeless, you go to the front of the line. So I know that most of the veterans that I worked with when I worked in the hud -Bash program, they were very grateful and appreciative of, of HUD, of the Housing Authority, and of the VA providing all of the case management that we provided. One last thing that I wanna uh, mention is for those of you social workers who who have many years of case management experience of supervising staff, there are also GS-13 positions available within HUD-VASH. Um, matter of fact, there are many vacancies for GS-13 social worker. Um, the name of the position is called Healthcare Homeless Veteran Program Coordinator. Um, there's many vacancies in Phoenix, Prescott, Arizona, Tucson, Loma Linda, California, Long Beach, Los Angeles, San Diego, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, and this position, you're going to be basically supervising staff in HUD-VASH and HCHV. Um, and it does require supervisory experience, um, ability to, you know, manage, um, teams of social workers, teams of nurses, teams of psychologists, um, and, and, and also obviously being able to work with the veterans that are served in, um, in these different homeless programs. So I just wanted to bring, I, I wanted to bring awareness um, that there are many HUD-VASH opportunities for newly graduated social workers, those would be the GS9 positions. Um, after you have that one year of experience, then you can promote to GS-11. After two years and after you get your advanced practice license, you can apply for those GS-12 positions. And after so many years of advanced practice license experience, you can apply for those GS-13 positions. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts about this, this video. HUD-VASH, again, if you're trying to get Get your foot in the door in the VA, HUD VASH is the way to go. And you can really make a, a difference in the lives of, of homeless veterans. Um, they, need, they, need, they need the support. So let me know your thoughts about this video, about this topic. Um, thank you for watching this video. It's a little bit longer than my other videos, but um, I, I really wanted to make a video just about HUD VASH. 
So thank you for watching, for all the social workers and other licensed professionals out there. Thank you for all that you do for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.